Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Backlash has come and gone. The fallout from WrestleMania is over. We have entered a new era. Tonight, we need to make contenders. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Up in contention yet again for the Women's Championship, although it is not on the line. Lita will be taking on China to decide the number one contender for Rhea Ripley's Women's Championship yet again. China is always here. Will Lita be able to take her out and take her spot as the woman feigning, feigning for the belt? Wow. Keeping up the trend of not talking, as always. And after a miraculous upset, what should be Degeneration X and enacting their rematch clause has turned into the Heart Foundation. Challenging Kane and Undertaker for their tag team championships. Based on a little bit of a previously signed contract, neither Shawn Michaels nor Triple H are able to compete for the tag team belts at this time because Triple H, Kurt Angle, Dusty Rhodes, and LA Knight are all in contention to decide yet again a number one contender for Eddie Guerrero's undisputed WWE Championship. However, Shawn Michaels is not a contender tonight. He is, in fact, a challenger. Challenging The Rock for his Intercontinental title. Will Shawn Michaels walk away with the belt other than the tag team belts while he's here? Just kidding. He's one of our longest reigning champions of all time. Speaking of, Kurt Angle has two matches tonight. He has also had the balls to spit in the face of Randy Orton and demand a challenge. So Randy waited, and waited, and waited until he would have a match that would weaken him. Weaken him to a point that would almost guarantee he has no chance of taking Randy's title. That, that is a snaky maneuver, but Randy is the United States champion. So he's making Angle work a double tonight. And for our main event, ladies and gentlemen, CM Punk spent five minutes in ECW and decided he had had enough of it. And he <clears throat> is going to, out of the blue, challenge Hulk Hogan for the Hardcore Championship. I can't wait. Can you? I'm excited. Are you? All right. Let's get right into it. So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Tried to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. And yeah, not wasting any time getting this fight started. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this is officially underway. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. Oh my gosh, with one hand! Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Earth 
shaking power slam. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Elbow drop. Piercing. Lita revving this crowd up, trying to get them behind her. Crushing the hamstring. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Drop kick. Will this be enough? She powers out immediately there. Just powered out. Kick to the stomach. And they're going shot for shot, mode for mode. Ooh! Ooh, and a reversal. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Slugging away with everything they've got. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. She can end it here. Almost lights out. Lita with an inverted twist of fate. Lita determined and on the mark with that one. Cover here. Stopping the refs count at two. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Just a relentless attack from the top. Wow. China's chances are fading. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Hoops their opponent's oh, legs and oh. alley oop. She's going up. Top rope here. Incoming. Diving shoulder tap. She's going for it. She gets the shoulder up. Willie had less than a second to stay alive there. China looking for the double underhook. Here it comes. Pedigree. China's got this in hand. Try and end it. What a kick out at two. The absolute resolve of Lita not backing down. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. Look at this. Deadlifting their opponent. Lita's losing any remnants of control now. Let's appreciate how she's sticking to Lita here. Unbelievable athleticism. <laughs> Just pounding away right in the face. My God. She manages to get control. really hitting her hard. China continues to impose her power with that assault. Bad predicament right here. Driven down face first. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Spectacular and and still in this. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Ooh, man. High rent district for China. To the sky. Good Lord. Taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Oh, Lita avoids contact. Boom! <laughs> and now gets tossed.
Priest into the ring. And a brazen display of confidence from China right here. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Oh, look at the ninth one of the world. China! This spells trouble for Lita. The cover! China gets the W. Here is your winner, the ninth wonder of the world, China! Soak it in. You earned this. What a display of toughness and stamina to pick up the win here tonight. It took real courage to make it out the other side of that onslaught. I'll say, I almost thought all hope was lost at one point. Well, that's why you never back down. You never know when things might turn around. A strong start for Lita, but she doesn't pick up the win. We will have to see what she can do next week. Speaking of picking up wins, now that the Hart Foundation has officially reunited and are on the tag team circuit again, let's see if they can. It's the Hart Foundation. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 516 pounds, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. Part of a Hall of Fame dynasty. It's always history in the making when these two team up. An absolutely lethal pairing. Look who's here. The Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us. And their opponents, first from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, the You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to to win. A competitor who has survived the toughest battles WWE has ever witnessed. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. 
An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. One of the most terrifying superstars ever. Terrifying power, terrifying size, and terrifying malice. And the same haircut as you, Saxton. Hey. That's terrifying. I don't know what you're talking about. And from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Kane! What a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening presence. The evil inside this man. Matched by the frightening amount of destruction that Kane is capable of. A multi-time champion. He's dominated WWE for many, many years. Hart Foundation out here tonight in full force. Such a dynamic team, making every bit of offense count when they're in the ring. Oh, yeah. It's so crisp, so effective. This is the excellence of team competition. It's no wonder so many groups count the Hart Foundation as a key inspiration. This should be an interesting matchup. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. There's a tag. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? And you imagine that domino stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Oh, there it is. You have dumped. Sharp elbows. And a hit toss to escape. Big boot. timing here just breaking down the opponent <laughs> left by the turnbuckles look out snake eyes big boot quickly the cover and he makes the save for his team Talk about dismantling your opponent. And guys, I'm at a loss for words. It seems like Bret Hart is the one who's getting taken to school a little bit here. The Undertaker wanted to make an impact on the opposition, and he just did. Yeah, Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. <laughs> Kane gets that set right back to him. To the middle rope. From the middle rope into a bulldog. Oh, ouch. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Playing out with a power slam. Here he goes for the win. In no motion on the counter. He moves just in time. Catches the leg. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Boom. To the back of the neck. Gets the tag. Climbing to the 
the top rope. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Launching. Diving. Close line. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Tag is made, and here we go. Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, pinpointing the trick here. Jarring impact. Oh, driving the elbow. And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Here's the tag. Oh, tag made. Oh, and a kick. Right to the midsection. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Elevated wrist lock. Inverted atomic drop. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Oh, the short knee to the cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Oh, what a kick. down across the head with the axe handle. Ooh. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Tag made, fresh man in. Drop it with a big shoulder tackle. What are they doing here? Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. How's that for a counter? Power slam. Here's the cover for the win. No, stops the count at two. How? Suplex. That was some high-level offense executed into the Hart Foundation. Hellacious offense delivered by Kane. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, what a power slam. Landing face first. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. Jim the Eagle Nightheart strike hits the mark. Kick gets caught. Close line takes him down. Forget about it. Oh, what a close line. We might be close to the end. This is a very dangerous situation now. Measured knee drop. He's got him scouted. He is delivering elbow after elbow. The Undertaker makes the tag. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. Red Hulk looking to end things. Sharpshooter, submission hold locked in. His heart going to tap him with the sharpshooter. Wait a minute. He's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Oh, but he needs to find an escape prop. Nice. And a close line. 
The dead man taking a moment to compose himself. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Jim the Ambo Knight. Tremendous power and nice power slam. No doubt the anvil ended this. Oh, shoulder up before three. Chills have to be running up your spine after the Undertaker is able to kick out like that. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things, a moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. That's a good time. We are seeing the will to win from these men, not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands multiple times. It's been a seesaw battle at times. Oh, drop. And Hart is channeling the energy of this crowd. Ooh, goes tumbling to the outside. Oh, across the top rope. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I think we know what's coming next. Watch out. You gotta be kidding me. And after that, you know things have just kicked up the notch. Battle with the metal right now. Hart is showing signs that it could be ending soon. Time's almost up. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. We've seen Bret Hart make some big comebacks before, and he'll need to do it again. Yeah, that and a miracle. Oh. Picked all the way to the floor. Here he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Hart gets out of there. That's a bad landing. The hitman looking to really get this one going now. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. Brett's in a position of power here. Excellent ring eye. The Undertaker looking to finish this now. Tombstone. The lights are dimming for the Hitman. It must sting a little bit to have a man who calls himself the excellence of execution kick out of your big move. I mean, clearly, your execution wasn't as excellent. And guys, we're seeing one of those rare opponents that can take everything the Undertaker dishes out. Let's see if the dead man can put that final nail in the coffin. Red Hart looking to finish this once and for all. Can he turn him? Yes, he does. The sharpshooter. I can't. Got it. What a match, and what a great team. Here are your winners, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. An emphatic victory for your winners, an impressive effort from this duo. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart, I don't come across these two in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we have new tag team champions. The division is on a roll tonight. And speaking of on a roll, the winner of the next match steps in to the ring with Eddie Guerrero next week on Raw for the un- disputed WWE Championship. I cannot wait. I know you can't either, so let's just get right into it. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good.
The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing D-Generation X from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Time WWE Champion. It takes a lot of ruthless aggression to even survive against Kurt Angle. The WWE Universe is on their feet for the American Dream. And from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty a main event talent in both WCW and WWE. Dusty Rhodes, a legend in every sense of the word, a heavyweight champion in WCW, a main eventer in WWE. And a true man of the people, an all-time favorite amongst the WWE Universe. And we're about to see exactly why. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. And yeah. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now.
Here we go as we kick off this huge fatal four-way match. Ready for this bout, we have Triple H. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kokina Clutch is in! Time to go night night! Kokina Clutch! Nowhere to go, but there is a way to break! The sleeper is cinched in! In trouble here? Smarter, not harder. That's what I say. An agile escape. Cocaine and clutch. Locked in. Cocaine and clutch. Nowhere to go, but there is a way to break it. He thinks he has it. And our official is unable to get there and count this pin. Some big contact by Dusty Rhodes. Targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. Face first. Belly to belly, way overhead. And will this be it? No, he kicks out. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Superstars can perform with such ease. Todd, throw the right suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Practically never ending blows. Coming at full force here. Big boot. He can end it here. And he breaks up the pinfall. Now we see Angle. Belly to belly suplex. That could have been it right there. the count. Lucky him. Turns around Angle's move. Uh-oh, Triple H. Backbreaker, classic game. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Great strength being shown here. Straight impact on the throat. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This match certainly has taken its toll. Keep it up with three other superstars will wear you down. Setting up for something here. Snake eyes. And now after that, look at the story painted red on Triple H's face. Oh my, discus punch. This. Oh, from the rope. Good God, what force. The hammer dropped. Look. And he goes for the pin. Stop the ref count before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And set right into the corner. Throw from in the corner. A couple back elbows to follow. Is it enough here? Stops the ref's count. I think this match still has a ways to go. All the way over. And he goes for the pin. Now we see Knight broken up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. Oh, what a close line. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck. Strategy. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. For the win! It only gets a one count. Still has 
a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Rage, he may get the three count right here. I think so. And now here's Rhodes. Just a flush. He went right into that turnbuckle. He's got the answer for that one. The game with the double underhook. Trying to put them away, able to counter it. And a close line counter. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Powerless position to be in right now. Right across the legs. He moves. But he he's got the legs. Boom. Just takes it. Catches the kick. 
Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Arms hooked by the game. Hazardous situation for LA Knight. For the win. Two. Meanwhile, here's Angle. Into the corner now. Out of the way in time. Kick to the gut. Trying to run into a neck breaker. Bang! Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. He'll head to the ring. And the knee. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Textbook body slam. Oh, by. Strikes with a kick. Knight into the hammerlock. Oh boy, back suplex. Scoop slam into position on the move. for our winner, pulling out all the stops in this fatal four-way. All four competitors in this match gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them. Well, Triple H is the number one contender he will face Eddie Guerrero next week on Monday Night Raw. And speaking of Raw, let's see how Raw, The Rock, is about to give it to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing D-Generation X. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. You are looking at maybe the very best sports entertainer in the world today. Michaels recently said that HBK is a doormat for nobody. He's not here to be a stepping stone for others. Plenty of superstars want their shot at HBK. They see beating him as a chance to prove they're the best around. Well, too bad for them. Shawn Michaels has made a career out of picking big fights and winning them. Uh, 
Oh, here we go! The People's Champion is here, an icon like no other. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Rock! Yeah, I can't even imagine living the Rock's life. Can you guys believe The Rock wouldn't even let me try on his $500 shirt? Of course I can believe it. It's because your bank account's about 499 bucks short. We're about to see The Rock lay the smack down. All the catchphrases aside, The Rock is all business tonight. <laughs> the Rock holding court inside the people's ring. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Now we know that The Rock has no problem running his mouth about his opponents in the lead-up to his matches, but we can't forget that if there's any superstar who knows how to hold his own when that bell rings, it's The Rock. Without a doubt, Cole, people sometimes get so caught up in The Rock's way with words that they forget just how athletic and smart this man is in the ring, and that's how he gets you. He definitely knows how to keep his opponents focused on the wrong aspect of his rather stellar game when the bell rings. And with HBK, you know you're in for a challenge bell to bell. Even if you feel you have him down, his resiliency has become legendary. Michaels will fight until his last breath. Call it courage, call it stubbornness. Either way, it's an attitude that's produced a Hall of Fame career. In this contest between Shawn Michaels and The Rock, what do you think it's going to come down to? How does one of them pull ahead? I think this comes down to who can put on the bigger show. Both of these guys feed off the crowd. They need that energy. So whoever can get the WWE Universe fired up and behind them is going to have the edge. That's mounted with punches and, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Whip back into the ring. Clothesline will send his opponent all the way to the outside, and he's about to join him. Tope Suicida! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Suplex! Neckbreaker! Incapacitating the shoulder. And it's The Rock with the reversal. He can do it here. Somehow, he couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh, what a kick. A sharp blow to the neck. Golly, what a knee. Connecting with a sharp elbow. He's one step ahead there. Takedown on their opponent, trying to step through. Sharpshooter applied. Things are looking blue. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Moved at the right time. Uh-oh. About to hit the rock bottom. The rock got all of it. Cover. Two. He kicks out somehow. Unbelievable resilience and resolve for Michaels. What? The Rock has cut some corners in the past, and he might be desperate enough to do it again after that kick out, guys. Ah, oh, look at this. 
just cranking it out. Cranking the head. As the arm bar stretch in. Punishing stretch. Momentum is the best friend of the Heartbreak Kid. Michael's got it all with the flying foot. Will it be? Got it. No, just a two. So, so close. That could have been it. position here. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, impact to the stomach. Stomping down. Looks like The Rock is feeling it. Setting up. HBK with great awareness. Thunderous power slam. Disheartening position for HBK. Michaels getting rocked by the Great One's physicality. Momentum going back to Sean's corner. Brief sign of it. He may get the three count right here. This is it. He gets the kick out after the one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Hoist it up. Ow. Nice suplex. Oh, oh to the jaw. Looking for a little bit of high risk here at seat. Up high. Whoa, what a landing. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Driven into the barricade. Two. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. Rock digging deep into the playbook. Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Soon. Ooh, stiff punch. Slugging it out toe to toe now. Ooh, so much pride, so much resiliency on display. Who will break first? That is the question. Oh, each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Ooh, ooh. Good timing with that reversal. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Ooh. Oh. Oof. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a hockey fight. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Looks like we know who won that exchange. Legs caught. Close line takes him down. Forget about it. Knee to the spine. Oh, an overhand punch. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Big time move coming up. Denying the attack from Michaels. Here it comes. Whoa. HBK is in serious danger. There's two. The Great One stands alone. The Rock has defeated Shawn Michaels in a match many fans thought we'd never get to see.
Two of the biggest names to ever set foot in the ring. And now, for the moment, The Rock gets all the bragging rights. He's got one up on HBK. Oh, that has to sting if you're Michaels. If we're lucky, they'll treat us to a rematch in the not-too-distant future. The Rock says he's kicking ass. And speaking of kicking ass, let's see what Randy does to Kurt Angle's ass right here on Monday Night Raw. The Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. Intensity, integrity, and intelligence. The three eyes all in one elite package. Yeah, some would say Kurt Angle is competitive almost to a fault, but he's always entertaining to watch. One of the best to ever do it. You just know to expect greatness whenever Kurt Angle steps in between the ropes. The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. You would be hard-pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. Going to go one-on-one -on -one with an amateur gold medalist caliber athlete. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds. WWE United States Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton! This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title.
The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Oh, man. That hurt. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time powerbomb. The champ has to be seeing stars after that vicious powerbomb. Powerbomb dropped him. Now that's what you call impact. The Viper able to strike back. Answers back on Orton. Hits him with the counter. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Big plans in mind for the Viper. Up high, all the way to the outside. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Obviously, we know the achievements of Kurt Angle in his storied career, Corey. That has to weigh heavily on his opponent's mind here tonight. You can't let Angle's past dictate your future, Cole. He's still one of the greats, but he's decades removed from winning a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Remind yourself that he's something close to human now, and the prestige will start to lose its luster. Oh. Evading offense. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Angle escapes the attack. Fighting back with a counter. He foiled that attempt. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Yeah, hard to defend against a gold medalist like Angle. Angle gets the better there. Man. Angle's got locked up. One. Angle's not done. Another two. That's a trifecta. Just repetitive brutality. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Why? Good for the title. Only a one count before the kick out. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Just mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Bottom upper cut. That'll cost some teeth. He was ready for Orton. Oh, and back of the elbow. Down to Orton, and a double axe handle smash. Fireman's carry. Nice takedown. Incoming! Crash landing! Powerbomb! Being dropped like that can leave the champion in severe trouble. Some hard offense landing on the champ. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. And just check out the face of Angle after that. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him then. Angle with a hold of the ankle. The ankle lock is in. Tap out. Doop. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. A oh, great counter. Angle is completely out of sorts here. Okay. That just happened. The champ will stay champ. Joy to remain champion.
Here is your winner, and still WWE United States Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton. What a win for the champ as he retains the title. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event. I will see you at ECW. The best in the world. Who could forget the night of Punk's historic return? But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. I gotta tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. Here's the most defiant faction of all time. The NWO is here to run the show. Get ready to buck the system all over again. When these men are united, there's no stopping them. Think of what the NWO has accomplished. Cruiserweight champion, tag team champion, even heavyweight champion. What can't the NWO do? What else they have done is run roughshod over every facet of this industry. You walk around the backstage area, there are countless superstars who would love to don the black and white of the NWO. 
It's better than the alternative of getting beat down by him. Good point. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Hardcore Championship. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, C.M. Punk. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds. A rather ceremonious presentation for what's considered one of the most unruly titles in this entire business. We know what it means to possess the hardcore title. It takes a whole different sort of man to carry that championship. We don't become a hardcore champion without having a couple of screws loose in the membrane, that's for sure. To have that title, yes, but what about challenging for it? We certainly have two reckless competitors vying for the same prize in this one. Gotta hurt. The champ put a lot of strain on their opponent's arm there. your opponent it might not be flashy but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement oh stop right to the hand and repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically to stomp in every single part of his body thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here Multiple stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Blast off. Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, great. Here's the pin. Title on the line. but for how much longer? Quick oh. strike to the lower body. If there's one thing Hollywood Hulk Hogan knows how to do, it's get out of a precarious situation relatively unscathed. So, Corey, what's the strategy for going up against someone as slippery as Hollywood Hogan? Let cooler heads prevail, Cole. It's not just a matter of not falling for Hogan's tricks. You have to keep from blowing a gasket once you do. Don't let him get in your head, because if you do, you might as well have given up. Here comes Hogan! It drops away! Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two! The champion retains! Here is your winner, and still, the hardcore champion, Hollywood! the champion standing tall after this defense. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title.